So in this video we look at the code implementation of the algorithm that we've devised to solve our challenge. So this is the method signature that was specified to us in the challenge statement. The method is to be called delete characters because we're going to be deleting characters from a string and we are being passed two strings. The first one is the string from which we're going to be removing characters and the second string is the string that will act as our filter and we are to return another string which is the filtered version of that string that was passed to us. So this is the method signature. Now the first thing that we do is some initialization steps and creation steps. So we will create our search data structure and we've chosen it to be an array so I call it search A and it will have 128 cells and each cell will correspond to one character in the ASCII character set just like we specified in the algorithm and if a particular character is found in the filter string then it will have its boolean value set to true if it's not to be found in the filter string then its boolean value will be false and this is how we're going to be searching over that search array and then what we do here is we are converting the string and the filter to their, their array representations because as we said we're going to be dealing with arrays and we can't simply deal with strings as strings are immutable and we want to modify the strings themselves so what we're going to do is we will go to this intermediary step where we have the array representations of the strings so this will be string and this will be filter actually it'll be filter A and string A as I call them right here and then once we're done modifying for string right here, we will take it back to becoming a string object and we will return a string object as specified by the method. So these two will, integers will act as our pointers. Source will essentially be sweeping over the string array and destination will indicate where we have to copy characters from the source, from where source will be pointing at to destination as we've seen in the algorithm so the first thing that we're doing here is the initialization step if you remember from the algorithm we're initializing all the values in the search array to false and then what we're doing here is we are going over so this is a constant step it's independent of the number of characters in string or filter and then what we're doing here is we for every character and filter so for character and filter we're using that iterator we will set its corresponding cell so that's how we do it right here we take that character we use it and as the index to that array and then we set its value to true and this will basically mean at this point we have a search data structure search array which contains true values for every single character in filter and then after this we move on to the actual bulk of our algorithm and here all we're doing is just getting the length of the string so we can use it in the next step and this is where most of the logic is happening so the first thing we do is we set source and destination to zero this for loop is essentially where source and destination will be going over the string array so source and destination will be pointing at zero the first character in string array that's what we're doing here and source is less than length this is our condition for this for loop to run and this means that source will be going over every single character in the string array and we're always incrementing source so if you remember we said that uh, our algorithm will first check to see if a character is has a true boolean value in the search array so we take we look at the character this is exactly what we're doing in this statement we are looking at where source is pointing in the string array so this will be zero we're taking the first character using it as an index in the search array so right here to find its corresponding boolean value if it's true then this means that we actually jump this case and all we're doing is incrementing source meaning that we're going to copy over this character to be deleted destination destination is remaining where it is if it's false then this means that we have a character that's supposed to remain alive that is not to be deleted so what we're going to do is take it from source and copy it to destination this is exactly what we're doing right here in the same string array so we're just copying it right here and we're incrementing both 
this was the two conditions and in the end we convert the result to a